Hello, Lee. Hi, Joe. Hello, everyone out there watching us. How are you? Oh, we're, we're great. Yeah, thanks for asking. You guys are polite. Now that we're all properly introduced, everyone say hello to a 15-year-old teen from Canada. You mean a 15-year-old genius from Canada. Yes, who invented a flashlight powered by nothing but the palm of her hand. That's the thing she holds the flashlight with. There's no moving parts and no batteries. The Wunderkind figured out a way to harness the thermoelectric effect, which is when electrons travel between the cold and hot sides of materials. In this instance, the hot side is the human body, and the cold side is the flashlight. The flashlight is an aluminum tube, and inside it are circuitry guts and LEDs, some transistors, and Peltier tiles. These tiles generate electricity when one side is warm and the other side is cool. So when a sweaty, hot, moist palm grasps the flashlight, one side of the tiles warms up, electricity is generated, and the LED is illuminated. Yay! Helping you find your Thin Mints so that you can calm yourself during the blackout. God, you still have Thin Mints, man? In the initial steps of creating her flashlight, Anne figured out how much electricity could be generated by a human hand. The answer, it turns out, according to her YouTube video, is five milliwatts, which is more than enough wattage because the LED only requires a half a milliwatt. Anne told NBC News, I'm sure that we've all had that annoying experience when we desperately need a flashlight. We find one and the batteries are out. Imagine how much money we would save and the amount of toxins leached into the soil, etc., reduced if we didn't use any batteries and flashlights. She probably didn't sound like me. She no, probably sounded no. a lot more feminine and yeah. smart. God, this lady's gonna save the world. The flashlight pumps out five foot candles of brightness, enough light to read a book at night, and as of right now, lasts about a half hour. And she'll continue to tweak the design in hopes to perfect it if it goes into production. She built the prototype for $26. Good God. Yeah. But before all that, as one of 15 finalists in the Google Science Fair, she's gonna be competing for for a $50,000 scholarship, a trip to the Galapagos, and the chance to learn from some of the biggest and brightest minds in the industry. Brightest. Wordplay. I'm awesome. And who knows how else this could be applied to other electronics. DS is dead? Put it in your armpit. Yeah, I mean, I bet I could power a fleet of iPhones with my crotch alone, you know? Source fed. Like, sub, click annotation, and don't forget to tell those close to you that you love them, because we love you. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Really? Really? It's not, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's 111 today. It could be two iPads. I got an iMac. You want to jump my car? Probably could. Oh, I don't have the red end. Visualize all of this.